Garish Farms and Airbridge LLC of Rockville, Indiana, hosted the third annual AgBot Challenge this weekend. Teams demonstrated machines capable of autonomously moving through the fields, identifying plant health, eradicating weeds, harvesting watermelons, and gathering layers of data. Indiana was well represented in the competition with teams from Purdue, IUPUI, and Indiana State. Competitors came from as far away as Nova Scotia to compete for the $100,000 prize. Steve Garish is the CEO of Airbridge, owner of Garish Farms, and the founder of the AgBot Challenge. He says this all started three years ago to promote the idea that rural broadband is a necessity. So we installed very high-speed internet over here, and our intent was to demonstrate what we could perform on the farm if we had that, which was autonomous driving, management of drones, um, doing field diagnostics, planting, harvesting with robots. Thomas Trappenberg is a computer science professor from Canada. I asked him what intrigued him about this competition that brought him all the way from Nova Scotia to Rockville, Indiana with his weeding robot. Here there's this perfect uh, competition. Uh, we, are, we, are still, we are just starting but we need uh, to practice and that's a perfect way to, of doing this. And to see also what other people are up to, you know, so it's a perfect place. The Climate Corporation is a platinum sponsor of the event. Craig Rupp, Climate's Senior Director of Advanced Technologies and one of the key engineers who developed the Climate Field View Drive Data Capture Device, served as a judge for the third consecutive year. Climate supports innovation in agriculture. We are, we're a data analytics company and uh, we want more data. And these robots, uh, eventually, they're going to be streaming tons of data in, in, into the cloud, and we want to work with them and uh, help analyze their data. Indiana State Department of Agriculture Director Bruce Kettler spoke with Hoosier Ag today at the event, saying events like the AgBot Challenge will help Hoosier farmers embrace the technological advances being made. People in the industry of agriculture, farmers and people in ag business, have always been very willing to change when they find value in that change. And I think this type of competition will hopefully help people understand that this is, this is what we have to do to embrace the future. See the video of some of the robots in action at HoosierAgToday.com. I'm Eric Pfeiffer, Hoosier Ag Today, Indiana's leading farm network.